Go ahead. Two different teachers have called and said that there are some big issues in the staff bathroom down by Mr. Klug's room. All right, I will be right there. So there, you get to go check on a bathroom. Every, every day it seems like it's the same, same process, the same bathrooms, the same problems. I'm Mike Gilbertson, I'm the head custodian here at Holman Middle School. The, the building is so old and there's so many spots of the building that need to be updated, um, that still have the original bathroom from back when this building was, then this building has been a high school, it's been a middle school, it's been an elementary school, it's been back to a middle school again. Um, there's so many things that just need to be updated. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of like your, your car, you can run it for so long, but you have to change oil. You have to replace things on your car to make it still work right. And it's a lot of band-aids have been put on things that just need to finally be, be fixed and take the band-aids off. The original structure of Holman Middle School was built in 1955. And since that time, we've had many remodels and many renovations to keep up with educational trends and uh, just different uses of the building. With that use over time and with those different uh, projects that have happened over time, um, we haven't been able to really create a, a fluid environment uh, here at the middle school. You, you can tell that there are a lot of sections of the buildings that have been added on and um, those structures are starting to age. And so in order to address those aging structures, um, just the need to look at our whole building as a project and address it overall can really help us to create something that's gonna be long lasting and it's gonna really meet the needs of our students, staff, and community. A couple spots right outside the door here. The ceiling tiles all around this, all around this gym get replaced a couple times a week. Uh, during the summer, it's quite often more because we don't have any kids, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big process. You're always changing the same ceiling tiles every time it rains. Um, it'll rain and gets all the ceiling tiles colored, but the water comes down the wall actually and ended up with puddles um, on the floor. One, one situation this summer, we had just waxed the floor. It rained that night, came in the next day, and had to re-wax the floor because the water had come down the wall. Um, but yeah, we switch these tiles out constantly. As custodians, we do take a lot of pride in the building. Um, it, it makes it hard because you see the things that are wrong and haven't been replaced in so long that need to be fixed. And then you have people come in from outside for basketball games, say, and they look and they say, well, why is this like this? And you're like, huh? Oh. We, we try to fix it, we try to make it look nice, um, but it's just after a while you just can't replace the same thing constantly. But as custodians here at school, I mean, we, make, we take great pride in making the school safe, making it look nice. Um, so we do, we just keep replacing things and keep putting band-aids on things to make it work. So here in our gallery, um, this is where student artwork is displayed. A lot of work that, that takes a long time to be put up and something that we're constantly having to think about is how can we display this in a way that we can make sure that it doesn't get destroyed. But as you can see, you know, through our ceiling tiles, it's an area that water leaks in. You can see up, up here into the, the roof area where, where that, that is, you know, something that's continually needing maintenance and our ceiling tiles and, and you can actually even see on the floor where you know the, where the water has been and it has, has stained the floor from that from that continual moisture issue. Up here in the seventh grade area have some of the oldest lockers in the building. <clears throat> yeah they just don't we can't use it with the kids because they can't pull it to get it open and then when to shut it they have to slam it to get it to shut and then it ends up if we do use it, it ends up breaking a lock or getting it jammed again so we can't even, then we have to come back up and pry it back open again. So if we This used to be a supply closet um, and now that closet, um, you know, because we need, had a need for small group instruction, we've now changed this into it and we've done everything we can. Our staff have done a great job making the rooms welcoming, but it still is that small area that's now been turned from a closet into a classroom. So this is one of the old boys' bathrooms. 
The problem we have is with these urinals, a lot of them don't flush very well and then when they don't flush, the kids will just flush them and flush them and flush them and then eventually it just all overflows. So we spend a couple times a week in here mopping up floors and reflushing stuff. It runs all day long. And a lot of these now are to the point where we don't have parts for them anymore. So another area that we look at here at the middle school um, that's something that could just use more of a long-term fix is, again, it comes to the, the watershed off of the building, but it also comes to just the outside building envelope. Um, much of the area down in, in this sixth grade area, you can see where, you know, that, that outside of the building is really falling apart and, and it needs more of a long-term fix. And, and also just working on that moisture control for moisture in and out of the building. And, and you can see kind of along the bottom of the building as well, uh, where, where being able to bring that in and grade that out can really help with the moisture and the water away from the building. And then you can see also inside, just in some of our areas, um, you know, as, as you look at our floors, you can tell that, that over time the building has just aged and you know we have rugs and we have things that cover it and our custodial staff does a great job of keeping up with it but that moisture in there and and you can see the tiles coming off the floor from from the continual moisture problems that are happening we just know that those spaces are no longer adequate so the ability for this referendum to address that and really build spaces with the intention for what it needs to be could really create a great learning environment